Welcome back to UA Technical Solutions. In this tutorial, we will discuss how to design an HVAC system for a residential or commercial building, including the calculating sensible heat load, latent heat load, and determine the size of air handling unit, variable air volume box, and chiller capacity. Please watch the full video to learn the full calculations and method. Step 1 is to estimate the space cooling requirement. Step 2 estimate ventilation requirement. Step 3 Determine supply air quantity for each zone and air handling unit. Step 4 Estimate equipment sizes, space sizes. We will use shown example of a school building having four classrooms. In the shown design we have used one air handling unit to serve four rooms. Each room has one volt AV box to control the temperature and airflow inside the room, and return air duct equipped with a damper. Let's start cooling load calculations for the shown example in order to select the equipment size. Simplified method for determining the space cooling load is using the cooling load factors as shown. Residential buildings requires airflow of 1 CFM per square feet. Office buildings requires airflow of 1.2 CFM per square feet. School buildings requires airflow of 1.5 CFM per square feet. Theatre buildings requires airflow of 2.5 CFM per square feet. Following formula can be used to calculate the CFM of a space. Floor area in square feet multiply by cooling load factor equals to space cooling load. Let's calculate space cooling load using the formula we just discussed. Classroom 1 floor area is 25 by 30 feet, making it a 750 square feet of floor area in total. We will get cooling load by multiplying 750 into 1.5 equals 1125 CFM. Next step is to estimate ventilation load. We can use the shown ventilation factors to calculate the CFM for ventilation required. 10 CFM per person are required in a residential building. 20 CFM per person are required in an office building. 15 CFM per person are required in a school building. 15 CFM per person are required in a theater building. Following formula can be used to calculate the required CFM for ventilation. Number of people multiply by ventilation factor equals required CFM. Let's assume there are 30 people in one classroom and 15 CFM are required for one person using the formula we will multiply 30 by 15 and 450 CFM we will need for this classroom is ventilation load. Now we have calculated the CFM for space cooling load and ventilation cooling load. Let's do an estimate of total CFM to know total supply air. Our results are as follows. Space cooling load for one classroom is 1125 CFM. Ventilation load for one classroom is 450 CFM. Total cooling load for one classroom 1125 plus 450 equals 1575 CFM. In the example, there are four classrooms, so total air supply will be 1575 CFM multiplied by 4, which is 6300 CFM. Hence, we will need a total of supply air 6300 CFM. Now that we know the total supply air required for one classroom, we will need a VAV box that can supply the required CFM as shown in the example. As per our calculations we require a 6300 CFM air supply, so we will need an air handling unit that can supply the same or above at least 10% of actual requirement. AHU selection table is shown with the capacities. Final results of total cooling load are shown for conversion into tons of refrigeration to select the size of chiller unit. To calculate the chiller or refrigeration unit size, we will need to perform the heat load calculations. To calculate heat load, we will require sensible cooling load and latent cooling load of ventilation. Also, the space cooling load. Let's convert sensible cooling load CFM to tons of refrigeration. We need ventilation cooling load, which 1800 CFM. 1.08 is the factor value. Delta T is calculated as room temperature minus desired temperature. Multiply 1.08 by 1800 and then multiply the answer with delta T, which is 40F in this example. 
As per above formula, we will need 77,760 BTU per hour for sensible ventilation heat. Next step is to convert ventilation latent cooling load CFM to tons of refrigeration. We need latent cooling load which is 1800 CFM. 4840 is the factor value. 0.2 is pound of moisture in the air measure on site as per delta T required. Multiply 4840 by 1800 and then multiply the answer pound of moisture in the air which is 0.2 in this example. As per above formula we will need 174240 BTU per hour for ventilation latent heat. Now we have calculated and converted ventilation sensible and latent cooling load let's combine them as 174240 plus 77760 a total of 252000 BTU per hour. Second step in conversion is to convert space cooling load CFM into tons of refrigeration. 1 ton of cooling equals 400 CFM and 1 ton of cooling equals 12,000 BTU per hour. We are using 15 AHU in the school building and 1 AHU is required to supply 4,500 CFM so 15 AHU will supply 67,500 CFM will be our total space cooling load. To convert CFM into tons simply divide 67,500 by 400 as shown we need 169 tons of refrigeration unit only for space cooling. Ventilation cooling load for 1 AHU was calculated at 252,000 BTU per hour. There are 15 AHU in the building so total ventilation load will be 252,000 multiply by 15 equals 3,780,000 BTU per hour. To convert from BTU per hour to tons simply divided by 12,000 as per the shown formula we require 315 tons of refrigeration for ventilation cooling only. Final step is to combine space cooling load and ventilation cooling load, as per our final answers 169 is space cooling load added in 315 ventilation cooling load. A total of refrigeration system required is 484 tons. Chiller size and cooling capacity can be selected using the shown table. Thanks for watching please do subscribe us at UA Technical Solutions.